Hello and welcome to Slant News TV. In today's news, we'll be covering the latest developments in the ongoing conflict in Sudan. The Sudanese army has announced the evacuation of diplomats and nationals from the UK, US, France, and China as the fighting continues. The situation is complex, and we'll take a detailed look at what's happening and the impact it's having on the people of Sudan. The statement from the Sudanese army said that Army Chief Fatah al burhan had agreed to facilitate and secure the evacuation of foreign nationals in the coming hours. This comes after Saudi Arabia confirmed that it had evacuated over 150 people from Sudan on Saturday, including diplomats and international officials. The UK government has also stated that it is preparing for a number of contingencies, but the intense fighting in Khartoum city center on Saturday made it unclear how evacuations could take place. The conflict in Sudan began when disagreements emerged between General Burhan and the leader of a rival paramilitary faction, the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, over how Sudan should be run. They were supposed to merge their forces, but the RSF resisted, and this led to full-scale fighting. The World Health Organization has reported that more than 400 people have been killed, but the death toll is believed to be much higher. Mariam Almadi, a former foreign minister sheltering in Khartoum, has told the BBC that the ceasefire agreed upon for the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fighter is not taking at all. Medical teams are being targeted in the fighting, and there are reports of rotting bodies in the streets. Khartoum's international airport has been closed due to the violence, and foreign embassies are unable to bring their citizens home. The situation is dire, with thousands of people injured, and medical centers are under pressure to deal with the influx of patients. Along with Khartoum, the western region of Darfur, where the RSF first emerged, has also been badly affected by the fighting. The UN has warned that up to 20,000 people, mostly women and children, have fled Sudan to seek safety in Chad, across the border from Darfur. The conflict in Sudan is complex, with multiple factions involved, and the impact on the people of Sudan is devastating. Diplomats and foreign nationals are being evacuated, but the situation remains volatile and the people of Sudan need urgent assistance. We'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you the latest updates. That's all for now from Slant News TV, thank you for watching.